The Knoxville Police Department says it is still conducting an internal affairs investigation after a whistleblower complaint and this video. It shows now former KPD Sergeant Bobby Maxwell making vulgar comments in a room full of officers during roll call. After we broke that story, we heard from many of you with concerns about the culture at KPD. The chief strongly denies it's a problem. Tonight, a 10 News investigation uncovers 10 cases of KPD employees investigated for inappropriate sexual behavior on the job. The offenses range from sexting to solicitation to sexual battery. KPD says it handled the cases decisively and investigated thoroughly. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan is part of our team who has spent months looking into this. He has the new details of these internal investigations into KPD officers. Most of these internal affairs cases have not been reported before. We found out about them by making an open records request for five years of internal affairs files dealing with employees who broke the department's sexual misconduct rules. The number of violations is raising questions about a culture of inappropriate behavior at KPD, something the chief strongly denies. Hundreds of pages of KPD internal affairs files detail investigations into 10 officers, recruits, and support staff accused of sexual misconduct on the job. The complaints range in severity. One of the most serious, the case of Jason Tyler Hewitt, who pleaded guilty to sexual battery in 2017. He admitted touching a woman inappropriately. She says he went into her North Knoxville house, pulled down her pants, and touched her legs and inner thighs. Hewitt resigned from KPD, and a judge gave him a year of probation last December. But in other cases, the officers quit before the internal investigation was done, and prosecutors declined to press charges. Files show a 52-year-old grandmother told investigators Officer Larry Presnell scared her when he kept coming by her house and making sexually inappropriate comments. I don't know how to deal with that kind of situation, she told investigators. I'm tough. I can fight my battles. I can argue. But when a man starts coming on like that, especially a strange man, I kind of back down to like a teen, she said. Investigators examined the camera in Presnell's cruiser and found he drove past her house more than 30 times in 10 days. He told investigators it was his regular cut through. They said to stop using it, and he later resigned. In another case, files show investigators found Officer Jason Wagner stopped a suspected prostitute and used her information for his, quote, sexual gratification. Investigators found he got her to send him naked pictures while on duty. In one text, he says, can you take a new topless? In others, he asks if he can come over to her house before saying, sorry if too much. I've slept very little today and gets the blood flowing in the wrong place right now. Other cases involve officers offering to pay for sex. After a citizen complaint, investigator Brian Moran told Internal Affairs, quote, I would be lying if I told you I had never paid for sex on Grindr or online. He resigned five months later for, quote, personal reasons. Police recruit Dante Booth quit before his official photo was taken. He was under investigation after his wife reported finding emails Booth sent to women on a Women Seeking Men page on Craigslist from his personal phone. In one, he says he's always wanted to sleep with an older woman. In another, he arranges for a massage for $100. He sent more than 15 emails, and investigators concluded he was patronizing prostitution. Booth resigned two weeks after telling investigators he lied during a KPD polygraph test. In another case, Internal Affairs interviewed school resource officer Jeffrey Murrett after his colleague at Fulton High says he kissed her neck in the security booth at school. Then, she says, he sent her an unsolicited photo of his penis. Officer Murrett was suspended one day without pay. In 2016, files show then-Sergeant Dennis Bible and Lieutenant Gordon Gwathney were punished after inappropriate relationships with KPD employee Elizabeth Smith. Investigators found Bible twice drove his police cruiser off-duty to this Best Western Plus in Cedar Bluff. He parked at a business next door and walked over to get a room with Smith. Files show internal affairs complained he was, quote, not forthcoming when they asked about it. In the same case, investigators found Gwathney sent Smith sexually explicit Facebook messages while he was on duty. Smith was fired because investigators say she lied to them. For driving his cruiser to the hotel, Bible was demoted to officer and suspended for 15 days without pay, a punishment he's now fighting in court. Gwathney got a written reprimand and told 10 News, quote, I didn't realize the text was on duty and I should not have. Smith told 10 News she was reinstated on appeal and left the department earlier this year of her own accord. 
These internal affairs investigations are closed, but the department is still looking into several complaints, including against now former Sergeant Bobby Maxwell, seen here making vulgar comments during a roll call meeting. KPD says it's still investigating that and complaints from a whistleblower that a woman accused a KPD officer of trading oral sex in exchange for not arresting her on a marijuana charge. The department is also still investigating how supervisors dealt with an officer who was having an affair with the Knox County deputy's wife. KPD said Tuesday its investigation has been delayed because a key witness has refused to talk to investigators. We asked to speak with Chief Eve Thomas. She said no, but in a statement categorically denied a cultural issue in the department. She said, quote, the men and women of KPD have selflessly devoted their lives to protecting and serving the Knoxville community. Suggesting that there is a broad cultural problem takes the missteps of a few and impugns an entire department. This misperception sows seeds of distrust, resentment, and antagonism amongst those we serve. We tried to reach out to each employee accused of misconduct. In some cases, we couldn't find their contact information. In others, the employee decided not to comment. For those open cases, the department says it's doing a complete and thorough investigation. Back to you. That was Cole Sullivan on the story. Right now in the WBIR app, investigative reporter John North has more depth to this story. We have a closer look at each of those cases. Plus, you can see the original 10 News investigation into a KPD sergeant seen on video making vulgar comments about women.